Hey alligators, what's up? It's Ellie Hardesty and today I'm doing another Q&A video. I always say that I'm going to film these and then never really get around to it just because I'm too busy filming other videos. So today I am finally going to be answering your questions from Twitter and from Snapchat. This is my first time ever doing a Snapchat Q&A, but it's going to be a mixture of both. So let's get into it. What was the last pic you saved to your camera roll? Okay, let's see. It's this picture of my dog where he made dog of the month in my parents' newsletter and like their community. What's your favorite part of making YouTube videos? I like that I get to say whatever I want, do whatever I want. Like it's totally up to me, the content that I put out, like no one's telling me what to do. What's your scariest paranormal story? Also, what's your fave TV show at the moment? Shameless on Netflix is my favorite, but paranormal, I'm actually going to film a video after this one talking about some recent stuff, so that'll be out probably a few days after I post this one. What's your fave YouTube video of all time? You can only pick one. On my channel or other people's channels? Because I, I honestly can't pick one out of everyone else because I am subscribed to way too many people. But my personal channel, probably the eight types of guys video that I did with my friend Corey because it's so funny. We just like did it in the moment. We were basically ranting and like acting stuff out. It was like so improv. So that's probably my favorite and it was the most fun to film. What are your thoughts on the Mandela effect? And do you believe there is actually a parallel universe? Yes, I do. And the Mandela effect, I think it's real. Uh, I kind of want to make a video on it, but I feel like everyone else and their mothers have already done a Mandela Effect video and I don't want to do ones by accident that like other people did, you know? I feel like everyone's already covered a lot of them, that's why I just haven't done one. But if I can uncover some like ones that no one has really touched on, then I definitely want to make a video on it. What's your Starbucks order? I get the strawberry... I can't pronounce this. I always say Ikea. I know it's not the furniture store, it's the freaking strawberry refresher, but not the canned one. It's like the... Ikey, strawberry Ikey, I don't know. And I get lemonade instead of water and no ice because if you get ice, then you're basically just paying to get like a melted down, like watered out version of their Starbucks when you could just get like way more. If you were a crayon color, what color would you be? Take a moment and how about you tell me? What slash who gave you the idea to use alligators? Or sorry, gator fam, but I, same kind of thing. So, this is how alligators originated. I had this friend at the middle school, I was cheerleading with, and she used to call me alligator. Like, the animal, you know, like, oh, alligator, I was like, nickname. There's been a couple other people who called me that as well. And then one day I was looking at my Instagram, and my Instagram name at the time was like my old, like, it was just my full name, like Alan Hardesty. And I was like, honestly, I hate that. That's so boring. Like, a lot of people have names that are created, like, back it up, Becky. I don't know, like, things that are kind of ridiculous. Like, their names, like, songs, like, clever, ironic type of adding. And I was like, I'm local, but Alligator doesn't say anything. But then I thought alligator, and then that was already taken. So I added the R R V, and then that was my Instagram name. And then I asked you guys what I should call my squad on YouTube, like, what I should refer to you guys as. And you guys said alligators, because I always shout out, like, my Instagram and my videos, like, oh, you Instagram alligators, and I can have Twitter or Snapchat at the time, so that was like the only thing I ever say. So you guys were like, oh, call alligators, and then the video was like, oh, they're alligators, and then I was like, oh, yeah, gator fam, gator squad. You guys don't care, that was a really long explanation, but that's how alligators or gator fam came into play. Love you so much, and can you make more story times? Absolutely. I have like three or four pre uploaded on my channel at the moment, so they're coming. I'm just trying to spread them out because I don't want my channel to be completely saturated with them, even though I have so much fun filming those. What's your favorite meme? The story time memes, like all of those, especially the ones from my channel because I just think it's funny because it's like memes of me, but like the ones that people I watch too. Which do you like better, YouTube or you now? I couldn't possibly pick one platform over the other because they both have so many pros and cons that are different. I mean, there aren't too many cons on either, but you know, just like comparing and contrasting them. And I swear I got this question so many times. When are you getting merch? P.S. I love you. I'm getting merch whenever a company wants to work with me and we can get that going because I've talked to a couple companies, not trying to call anyone out, but like it just never really like goes anywhere. Like we just diddle daddle and then they fall off the face of the earth and then they come back and they're like, hey, you still wanna make merch? And I'm like, yeah. And then I don't hear from them again for another like couple months. So I don't know when it's happening. I'm not in a rush necessarily, but I would really like to put out merch because I've been talking about it for like literally since the start of my channel, I've always wanted to do it. Do you have any Canadian friends I can marry to escape Trump America? Well, you can marry my friend M Greenwood. She's a broadcaster from Canada. I'll have her hit you up or something. What's the number one thing on your bucket list? Travel abroad. What's one trend that needs to die? I love you, queen. I love you more. LGBT mojo. And telling people to kill themselves, like, in a funny way, like, oh, kill yourself. Like, that's not funny. I don't think it's funny. I've never thought it was funny. If you were able to do anything in life, what would you do? Um, I feel like we are able to do anything in life. It's really up to you and how hard you're willing to work and how bad you want whatever it is that you want. Anything I wanna do, I'm gonna do it because if I wanna do it that bad, I'm gonna make it happen. Piercings or tattoos? On myself personally, piercings, I only have my belly button pierced and then like one piercing, like my cartilage. 
I don't have any tattoos. I don't plan on getting any tattoos unless it was like really special, like there was a meaning behind it. But like as of right now, there's nothing that really makes you want to do that. But on other people, I would say piercings too. I don't I don't really care for tattoos like that much unless they're really, really cute and like special, but I don't know. Ugly and live forever or attractive and die in a year. Ugly and live forever. Well, actually, I don't want to live forever. That would get so old. So I would say attractive and die in a year. Cause if I know I'm gonna die in a year, I'll just make the most of it and do like crazy stuff. If you weren't doing YouTube right now, what do you think you'd be doing? Where would you be right now? I would be in the same place I am now, going to school, probably working at like Dutch Bros or something. I don't think I'd live in this apartment. I'd probably still live in the dorms because it's like way cheaper to live there. And I got this apartment, like a main reason why was so I could film and not disturb like other people who live in the dorms and just have more space. So if I wasn't doing YouTube, I wouldn't really need this apartment as much. What is the worst thing you've done to your best friend? By the way, mind reading my tweet? Well, I'm reading it right now, Wolfie. I'm honestly a good friend. Like if you're friends with me, you're friends with me. Like I'm not gonna let you down. I'm gonna have your back, so. I'm a good best friend. I don't do bad things to my friends. Have you ever been pulled over by a cop? Yes, in one of my vlogs I was pulled over for speeding. What are your favorite songs at the moment? I don't have any favorite songs. I'm so busy filming and all that. I don't really listen to music as much anymore. Even when I'm in the car, I play YouTube videos on the aux cord, so. What's your favorite thing about the Gator Squad? You guys are so supportive. Like, if someone ever leaves me a hate comment, I can expect like 10 people to back me up and like, leave her channel, like don't say things like that. It's like so cute and you guys love me for who I am and you guys are really understanding if I, I don't get to film one day or if I wanna film this type of video instead of this type of video. You guys are just really accepting to whatever I put out, which is awesome. Holy Grail makeup product. If you mean this in the sense of like a certain brand, I, I don't know, I couldn't possibly tell you. But if you mean like one makeup item that I can't leave the house without or if I only could put on one thing, it'd be mascara. Definitely mascara because my eyelashes are like blonde. Will you film more conspiracy theories? Please do. Yes, I will. I just put out one the other day and I have another one coming up. It's gonna be so good. So just get ready for it. If you could dye your hair any color, what color would you dye it? Probably bleach blonde, but I would never like actually do that. I actually used to have bleach blonde hair, but that's not happening again. I'm not trying to damage this. Or blue, like blue, blue. But I'm not bold enough for that. Any career aspirations besides YouTube? I would love to continue doing this long term and broadcasting because that's my thing. Besides that, I've always loved the idea of like traveling to different schools or maybe not even schools, just different places and being like a motivational speaker and like sharing my story with some stuff. And there's stuff I haven't even shared on YouTube that I would really like to one day that I think would help a lot of people. So I would love to do something like that, but there's not really like a job title that I could really pinpoint that on. What is your worst Valentine's Day moment. Okay, this is probably like three years ago. I caught my boyfriend cheating on Valentine's Day. <laughs> that could be a story time to be honest, but basically what happened was like I saw his DMs with her on Twitter and um, they were not cute. So yeah, I discovered that on Valentine's Day. That was great. Can this be the last question? No, because we still got to move on to Snapchat girl. Sorry. Most memorable guest wall on you now. Was it the alien? Probably the guy who showed me his weed farm and it paused right as he was showing me. So all my subscribers were in the chat like, oh my God, and I was like, what happened? Like, what's, what's happening? So I X out and then I guess it's somebody else and they were like, yeah, he just showed us like his secret pot farm. He was like growing a bunch of weed. I was like, oh my God. How long does it take you to create slash edit videos? I feel like so many people don't understand the time that actually goes into YouTube. Like it takes a minute to do all this stuff. Editing, uploading, filming, all that combined can like literally take days. Like I'm not exaggerating. You ready for VidCon? Yes, I just bought my ticket last night and I'm so pumped. I'm going all four days because I think it's four days, right? I don't know. I'm staying there like the whole week, like vacation time. How long is your tongue? I don't know, you tell me. I think I have a long tongue. Would you ever move to LA once you're done with college? Absolutely, I've definitely considered it. That probably will happen, I don't know. Maybe not LA LA, but like more SoCal, you know? How do you deal with hate comments on videos slash social media? I only get hate comments on videos. I never really get them on Instagram or anything like that, like I just don't. And I make hate comments video. I've only made one video like that, but it was so much fun, I wanna make more. I don't get a ton of hate. Thankfully. If you could meet anyone alive slash dead, who would it be and why? Probably my grandpa, that's really sad. I've already met him, obviously. Well, you guys don't know that, I guess. He died when I was in eighth grade from brain cancer. And I was, 
you know, younger then. So I really wish that I would have been able to spend more time with him. What would you tell your younger self? Everything is temporary. High school doesn't matter. Like you're literally not gonna talk to anyone from high school once you graduate. Also, guys, stay away from like 99% of the guys that you wanna date because they're bad news. Worst period story. Boy, this is gonna be a separate video. That's all I'm gonna say. I bled on somebody and it's not what you're thinking, but it was equally as bad. I'll just say that and I hope the guy doesn't ever see it because oh my god. Favorite band from when you were younger? Probably 303 if that counts as a band or the Jonas Brothers. Well, duh, that counts as a band, Allie. What was your first job? My first like real job was working at Target when I lived in Ohio, but before that I did like babysitting, nannying, tutoring, like things that are like under the table more. What's the craziest thing that happened in LA that you haven't told us about? Things that can never be said on this channel, to be honest. How did your parents react the first time you swore around them? I was probably grounded for a very long time. How do you stay so positive all the time? Any tips? P.S. I love you, babe. I love you more, Momo. Count your blessings. That's a huge one. Count what you're thankful for every day because how can you expect to get more out of life in any type of way or manner if you don't appreciate what you have already? How do I get a more active social life? I'm literally bored all the time. Go up to people, introduce yourself, make friends, make plans with people. Don't just wait for people to invite you places. Like you have to do the effort sometimes too. What some good advice about going into high school soon. I should make a whole video on this to be honest, but I would say that, wait, you're going into high school soon and it's like January? Where do you live? That's so weird. What do you look for in a guy? So there's a lot of ways that I could answer this, but I do want to say that if a guy kisses me on the first date or maybe even like the second or third day, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm not going to be into them. Like I'm just not. If they wait and they treat me kind of like as a friend and like hold my hand or whatever and like genuinely get to know me first, I am going to have so much more respect for them and I'm going to fall for them. Like I'll literally be in love with you. Don't just like make a move on me right away because I'm going to take it the wrong way. What camera do you use? P.S. I love you so much. I love you more and my camera is the Sony Alpha A5000 that I just ordered. It's sort of like a GoPro. It's like the Sony action cam. So I got that for drive with me videos and I'm so excited. All my links are in the description box for like what I use to film. Any advice on how to relax? Listen to ASMR if you're trying to fall asleep. It really does work. Okay, you know what? We're done with these Twitter questions. There's so many. We're gonna move on to Snapchat. Okay, that wasn't even a question. Oops. Where are the questions at? Okay, what color is on your lips in these snaps? So, uh, it was like this Snapchat. It was the Kylie Jenner lip kit, which I honestly never even wear anymore, but I just randomly put it on. Would you ever cut your hair? Uh, I wouldn't. Like, short, short, I wouldn't. Until maybe I'm like a mom or something. What the heck? This guy sent me like a million blank snapchats. Okay, you know what? I need to do an opening snapchats video. Leave a comment below if you guys want to see me do that because I get some weird stuff sometimes. This is not even a question. Okay. My question is when did you start your period? Oh god, okay. I got it once in sixth grade and then I didn't get it again until seventh grade and I started getting it regularly. This one's from Ethan Streaks. No, where's the question at? Did your parents know about your first boyfriend? My first boyfriend was in sixth grade and I think they knew, but it was like low key. Like I never like told them. Fave drug story. I don't do drugs. Streaks, no. Questions. This is a video. Let's, hopefully it's a question. We're gonna find out. So if you could take five strangers from a burning house or your best friend, which one would you choose? Love you. Five strangers from a burning house or your best friend. My best friend, because honestly those strangers it may have been their time to go. They might have been terrible serial killer, rapist, murderers. I don't know, but my best friend's a good person, so I would save her. If your last day on earth, what would you do? If it was my last day on earth, Christian Layton, I would. Okay, this is so sad. I'd probably film a goodbye video on my channel, like telling everyone how much I love them and stuff, like my family, my friends. Uh, what's up? That's not a question. Okay, how many different states have you been to? I think I've been to 49. The only one I haven't been to is Hawaii. Do you have any tips for falling for someone for the first time? I'm terrified. Let it happen naturally. Don't get your hopes too high that you're gonna be with that person forever if you guys start dating, because especially if you're young, if this is like your first serious whatever. I'm still filming your Q&A, This is for the Q&A. Um, I wanna know who's your favorite YouTuber, but love you. Oh, I love you too, my favorite YouTuber. Honestly, couldn't pick one. I watch everyone that I'm friends with on YouTube and a lot of Viners. Cody K is so funny, or Cody Co, whatever his name is. What are your plans for summer? I actually don't think I'm going to Ohio this summer, or at least not the entire summer. Like, I'll probably go for a little bit, but if I don't go at all, my mom said that she was gonna fly down and visit me, which I'm so excited about, so that'll happen. I'm also going to VidCon. I'll also probably travel and just hang out and 
It's gonna be lit. I'm excited. Would you rather live in a hot climate for the rest of your life or a cold climate for the rest of your life? Hot. Beach. Yes. What was the reason you started doing YouTube? I started YouTube because I wanted to document my life and help other people. Someone literally said no. Oh wait, this is an old Snapchat. How deep in here am I? Where were you born? Laporte, Indiana, a small town in Indiana. What's your spirit animal? An alligator, duh. Someone said, what is your hand doing? And it was like in a selfie. I don't know, it was like rusting on my chin. I always put my hand in my selfies like somewhere. Have any plans tonight? If not, we should see a movie or get dinner. I don't know you. Have you ever not dated someone because your astrological signs were not compatible? Yes and no, because I feel like it's not because of that, but because of that, like we didn't work out. Would you ever consider going vegan? Also loving you and your positive energy, Allison. Thank you. Not at the moment. I don't have any interest in doing that. I just know that I personally do not have the willpower at the moment, but later in life, Sure, that could happen. When was the last time you had Taco Bell? Honestly, it's been a week, which is super long for me because I normally go there like every other day. Tell Angie to make a YouTube channel and you guys could collab. She's working on it. She's been trying to start it. Sonic sent her a camera, Alex, we opened it in a video and I swear she's making the channel real soon. We're gonna collab together more. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more Q&A videos or if you learned something today, give this one a thumbs up, leave a comment letting me know. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell that way you stay subscribed because of the whole YouTube glitch and follow my social media. I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators. Bye.